Thank you very much for having me here today, Stan. Thank you for the introduction. Governor, Senator, a song comes to mind for me, which is George Michael's Faith. Because you've got to have faith, not just in this relationship, but that the good people of Bulbog are the right people to build the future of my nation. I will tell you that my country has always had a fabulous relationship with the United States of America, going back 80 years. It is your companies that helped my country launch itself to be the powerhouse that it is today, and I am eternally grateful for that. The plane that you see behind us, the DC-9, was a gift from um, President Roosevelt as a gift to symbolize the start of a friendship and the start of a relationship. And today, that's symbolized by the thousands of you that are helping my nation propel itself and take flight at excellence, and I am eternally grateful for that. What some of you may not know is that Boeing is in my blood. Today, Boeing is the company that creates the F-15s, and that's a flight that my father used to fly when he was a fighter pilot. And it's people like you, with your ingenuity and your technical capabilities, that kept my father safe, and many men and women like him. And I am eternally grateful for that. And that is the skill and the endurance of not just American products, but the partnership and the relationship between our two nations. And when we talk about this alliance between our countries, the Senator just visited us in the Kingdom, and I'm absolutely proud to have him and many of your other elected representatives come to talk with us about what could we as two nations do to propel ourselves as we have a vision. But that vision is always and will always be tied with the United States. We know the value of this partnership. We know the value of your hard work. We know what this means to your families. But let me tell you what it means to my families back home. Every single one of you with a deal like this has a job that sustains yourself and your family and brings dignity to your neighborhoods and your environments. And it's the same for my people. This contract with Boeing creates jobs back home for us, hardworking people who are your counterparts and your colleagues. And many times, you have no idea who your customer is and what impact you have on them. But let me tell you, you're creating jobs in the kingdom. You're creating a future for young people. You're helping my nation open up and invite others in. You are helping us introduce my country to the world. And for that, I will, and as will my nation, will be eternally grateful for you giving us that opportunity. This is truly a partnership. This is a partnership where I want you to know that every single one of you plays a part. Every single one of you is uplifting a nation that's not yours. And that's friendship, that you are doing something at a level of excellence that impacts people you may never see. But I'd like to change that. The fact that you'll never see Saudi breaks my heart. And please know that I invite every single one of you, and I absolutely mean that, at any point, please reach out to us through your leadership. I would be honored to show you the nation that you are helping to build. And it is my sheer and absolute honor to be here in Charleston and to recognize that you represent all of the Boeing employees all across America who are giving their heart to their own nation and symbolizing the generosity of America, which is to give and give it excellence, which is to uplift and to make sure as you rise, so do others. And with that, I thank you, I thank the leadership of Boeing, and I absolutely thank the teams from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia who gave me the opportunity to bring them the best that America has. Congratulations, Boeing, you are the best.